What are you so excited about? What is going on? What's going on? Where's daddy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, calm down. So Sam and I, well hello first of all. Um, tonight is date night. Sam and I were going to go out and then last minute we were just like, can we not, like we don't want to. So what we're actually gonna do is something we have never done before. So we are going to go pick a pizza, go get a dessert from the Publix that's really close by and they have really, really good desserts. And then we're going to come home, blow up the air mattress in the living room and actually like lay on it and watch Spider-Man because we're going through all of the Marvel movies. Um, and he, I don't think he, at least not in order, has seen all of the Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland. Is that his name? Oh my God, I know what his name is. Why did I just blank? Anyway, the little cutie who looks like he's 15. He reminds me so much of Sam in that aspect that he's like, I think he's Sam's age and he looks 16 and my husband looks 16. I got this hat today. Look at how cute it is from the Nordstrom sale. I'm a little pissed though. It's like a lot more green in person and it was like very beige online, but I like it. Isn't that a cool like vibe for fall? Anyway, so that's why Doug is losing his mind um, cause Sam just went outside. But it's date night. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys my outfit. I've not done one of those in a hot minute. It is nothing exciting, but the shirt is amazing. Look, all my Nordstrom sale shoes came in. I have two pairs in here, a pair of booties and a pair of boots, and then I have those boots and those boots as well. But this is my outfit, nothing exciting. I mean, it's literally leggings and Steve Madden braided sandals, but this tee, I got it from American Eagle. I like the like sheerness of it. I know that's not for everybody, but I got it in a small and it is so comfortable and flowy. Um, I might, it's not any longer in the back, which doesn't cover my butt and leggings. I might change into bike shorts just cause it's a bajillion degrees outside, but I love this tee. Like I like the like distressed see-through look of it. So let's go pick up our pizza. You going, you going to go pick up pizza then? You want to go with us? I'm really nervous about okay. this. Check it out, see what it was about. So Sam and I are gonna be doing this. It was his idea. We're gonna, We're gonna struggle through getting it. Blow up this mattress, air mattress, right here, and watch Spider-Man. You know, it's just fun to do something different. We one time pushed the sofas together and that did not work. We probably pull, had to pull those sofas back together, what, like seven times? That wasn't even this sofa, that was the old one. Yeah, we, I mean, we really had to like pull them back together. So hey, it's just- Yeah, it smells like camping. <laughs> Yay, ew, Sam. Please don't make me lay on that. Doug thinks he's gonna lay on it. I didn't realize you like had this bougie bed. Like this is so fa- Who are you right now? We are not- I Don't know how to like inflate We are not that fancy. And Sally got his toy. Sam, this is ridiculous. Yep. For all this time. Yep. Okay, here's a zipper. The end of the zipper? Oh. Maybe it's like in there? I'm hoping. Sam, or is do this you just put a, a mattress inside? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Sam, it's a bed frame. Uh, okay, okay. So it's good to know. Just a bed frame, you guys. <laughs> and so when you go camping, you don't sleep on the floor. It's like lost you. Up. <laughs> we are not this fancy though. We like couldn't find where to blow it up. So wait, we don't have a air mattress. Look at Sam. Did you see him? Did you see that? No, seeing he it. He slumped through it. Yeah. Do we have an air mattress? Definitely okay. Not. So fun story. We have a box spring on our bed that's one of the metal ones. I don't know if you guys have like seen those in previous years, but you no longer have to buy a full mattress size box spring. You buy them in a box and you just like use screws and stuff. So we were trying to get our box spring put together. We stopped for a few minutes because we ended up putting the cover on the wrong way and like we were struggling to get it zipped. We walked off, come back, finally get the thing zipped up and we go to lift it up to put it on the bed. Do you need my help? Mm, maybe. And Salem was inside of it. Like we didn't even know. We just, like, look at him. 
He's so nosy. He's so nosy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought that was, and that's like happened multiple times. Like there was one time we took the bottom off of our sofa and did something to it and then put the bottom back. Salem was in it. We like didn't realize and he was like inside of it. So I guess we're just gonna watch it. We're gonna couch it. I'm just gonna watch it on the sofa. Oh man, what a morning. So, I, hmm, last I vlogged, it was Friday, I think. Um, <laughs> so on Sunday, Sasha got, she was totally fine. She sat in my lap and was purring and I was watching Thor. I think I was watching Thor Ragnarok, which by the way, I am planning on going through all of the Marvel movies and rating them on a scale of one to 10 on here sometime soon. I just want to finish them all first. Um, Thor Ragnarok is like one of the best movies ever though. So I was watching Thor Ragnarok. Sasha comes up, she's purring. She wants to sit on my lap. And I noticed that like she had this puff of hair in the front of her head that looked a little odd. So I like went to slick it back and I noticed it was like a, it was like a big, lump on her forehead like it was almost the full size of her forehead and actually so it expanded it was like this like it was like in the middle of her forehead and then over to her eye and so she couldn't keep her she was holding her eye like this I gave her a steroid because she does have asthma and I thought like maybe she was having a flare-up so I gave her a steroid and we watched her she was acting totally fine after that it actually went down I want to say 75% of the way it went down um so on Monday morning we woke up 75% of it was like down but it was very much so still there and she was like you know how cats like headbutt you like we'll just like take their little head and like push it up against you because they want love so she was like headbutting me with this little lump on her head she was purring um she was totally fine she's eating acting normal but today I woke up and it still hadn't gone down so I had to take her to the vet <laughs> and we ended up having to get an urgent appointment the earliest appointment they had was next Tuesday and because I told them what it was they were like it could be a number of things it could be an abscess from a fight with a cat it could be a bug bite they were like that sounds pretty urgent not urgent enough to like take her to a hospital they were like but just come we'll get you in when we can so we actually ended up waiting for about 40 minutes just for the first available like they had an opening so they could come get us in the meantime she peed and threw up in her crate because she doesn't like being in her crate so we pull her out of the vet she's totally fine purring acting normal, jumping up on stuff, wanting everyone to love on her. Meantime, meanwhile, she's covered in pee and throw up. And they tried for like five minutes to get her to calm down. She was like climbing the walls. Like I swear she grew wings when they, cause she doesn't like to be held. And so I swear she like grew wings and was like flying. And so finally the vet looked at me and she was like, we're gonna have to put her down. And I did not even pat an eyelash. I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't care because she'll feel so much better. Um, and I think she feels fine now, but like you guys, she was literally covered in cat pee. Cause it was from her, obviously that's, it wasn't, you know, someone else's pee but it was cat pee and vomit so they told me they will clean her up they're like whoa well, they took her crate out they they washed it out <laughs> and when they realized they were gonna keep her they were like we'll clean her up we'll completely shampoo and condition her before we send her home so I just like I can't even function today like I don't even Oh my gosh, it was such a disaster. Like her purring and headbutting everyone and everyone was just looking at her like, girl, you look crazy because she had pee and throw up on her. But I, this is like kind of why I'm also scatterbrained. So Sam was supposed to go back to the office yesterday. This has been the date since like April. I think they told him in April they were planning on bringing them back in August and he was only supposed to go back twice a month. So August 2nd and I think the 16th was the next day um, because they don't really need to be in the office what his job position does anyway. So they were only going to go back in twice a month. They emailed them last week and said, don't come in. The rise in COVID cases are, you know, going back up in Greenville because I guess everyone's kind of going back to the office. And they were like, the CDC, you know, is still saying this, this, and this. So we're just not going to have you guys back in the office. Yesterday, system-wide outage throughout his entire company. And so today while I'm at the vet with a cat, 
covered in pee and throw up, trying to schedule a, a basically a surgery at this point for her. He texts me and he's like, yeah, the company still has an outage. He has to take his laptop or his computer all the way to the company he works, which is like 45 minutes away and trade out his computer because basically IT was just like, they had fixed, they had basically worked on the computers in house and they were just like, you know what? It's gonna take some time, so just bring us your computer. We'll trade you one that works. So it has been a morning. And so we are going to go out to celebrate my mom's birthday tonight and I gotta film a video. So that's really, mm, that's what my day's been consistent of. I had to go get some coffee because I have like, zero energy and I got a cappuccino and like by the time they gave it to me like this much of it like the all the foam was gone so it's really disappointing but it's just a cappuccino with almond milk so thank you guys so much for watching me vent this has been a lovely day and it is approximately 10 15 in the morning <laughs> and I feel like I've been awake for nine hours already so see you in the next vlog